Hi, I'm Turquoise Blue. Welcome to my channel where I discuss saving money, decision making, and expressing creativity. It's time for my absolute favorite thing to do every month, which is stuffing my cash envelopes with my sinking funds. Let's get started with three months expenses. And three months expenses, I have not set a goal for this sinking fund still, but it has a current balance of $2,110. And today I am adding another $100 to bring the total to $2,210. And here are two $1,000 placeholders, 110. Today I'm adding another One hundred, two hundred, and ten. Three months expenses now has two thousand two hundred and ten dollars. The baby emergency fund still remains fully funded at one thousand dollars, which is in the bank. And then we're going to go to appliances. And you know what? I'm going to do appliances last because I have $160 here, but I'm actually going to put a lot more than $160 because I did receive some extra money this month. So skipping appliances, let's go to automobile maintenance next. And this fund should have $460 and I'm going to put another $50. And the goal for this fund is to reach a total of $800. So there's 400, 20, 40, 50, 60. And it gets another $50 today. $20, 40 $50. Okay. $400, 20 40 I'm a little shaky. I drank too much coffee this morning. 20, 40, 60, 80. Ninety. One hundred. One hundred and ten. So my new total for auto is five hundred and ten dollars I have a new thing that I want to do with my sinking funds I was waiting until my balances were over a thousand dollars to put the money in the bank but I am going to start putting anything over five hundred dollars in the bank and I'm going to be using a five hundred dollar placeholder in addition to the $1,000 placeholder. So since automobile maintenance has just now reached a total of $510, I am going to keep the 10. I'm gonna keep this 10. And I'm going to add a $500 placeholder. This is my placeholder that I made on my computer and printed off. So 
This is going into the envelope with the ten dollars, five hundred and ten. And this five hundred will be going into the bank. Automobile maintenance now has five hundred and ten dollars. Next is education, which has two hundred and twenty-five, and today it is getting another twenty-five. One hundred, two hundred, twenty, and five. There's 20, 30, and I'll take this five. 100, 200, 20, 40, 50. Education now has a total of $250. The next fund is gifts, which should have $200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. And today I'm putting in another $25. There's 20 and five. The new total is $225. Moving on to home, and this fund, money just seems to go in and out, in and out constantly. I no longer have $100. I have, I should have $40 because I had to tip someone who did some work on my home. I know I'm always saying work on my home, but once again, that's the joy of home ownership. I had some repairs to my garage door. And I'm grateful to have the funds to pay for it. So home now has $40. And today I'm putting in another 50, which will bring the total to 90. Twenty forty. Twenty forty. 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. I didn't mention the goals for the last couple of funds, but I have a total of 500 for education, 500 for gifts, and 2,000 for home. I'm gonna skip my envelope also because I'm gonna give myself some extra money this month. I'm going to move over to HOA, which is getting its regular $40. There's currently $80 in there, so this will bring the total to $120. 20, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And the goal is to have $475 in HOA by the end of the year. Moving on to technology, which has $50 and is getting $25. I'm going to need to beef this one up too. I have a goal in here of $300, but I actually need to get one of my monitors repaired. And that's going to cost me about $150. So after today's deposit of $25, I will be halfway there. Here's 20. I'm going to switch out two fives in, oh, two fives in overflow for a 10. So I'll put this 10 in overflow. 
And then there's the two fives, and I need one five for 25. So the new total should be $75. 20, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and five. Technology now has $75. And I'm going to move back up to appliances, which has a goal of $8,600. And appliances currently has $2,210. I said I was not doing 160, and instead I'm going to add $375. So the new total should be $2,585. That gets me a little bit closer. Here's 1,000, 2,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and 10. And today, I'm adding $375. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and there should be a five at the bottom. Five. So one thousand two hundred. plus 300 makes this plus 300 makes this 500 75 plus 10 is 85 so because this is now over $2,500 I am going to put the $500 in the bank and keep the $85 in cash Twenty forty. Let's do this. Twenty forty sixty eighty. Five. One hundred two hundred three hundred. Twenty forty sixty eighty. Four hundred twenty forty sixty. 70, 80, 90, 500. This is going with the money that goes to the bank and I'm adding a placeholder. So that makes 2,500 in the bank and $85 in cash. Now let's go back to my envelope. Today I'm giving myself $260. $40 of this $260 is actually coming from overflow because I had $20 that um, carried over from my two cash envelopes for the first and second pay period of March. I'm giving myself $40 from overflow, 10, 20, 30, 
14. Is that right? No. 10, 20, 30. 40. Yes, that's correct. Because that leaves $23 in overflow. 10, 20, 10, 15, 20, and 3. So I'm giving myself $40. And then I need another 220. 100, 200. And I need 20 more. 10, 20. 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So let's add this to what's in here, which is 575. And the new total should be $835. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Six hundred, seven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, eight hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, and five. I'm going to take five hundred dollars from that and leave the um, $335. There's 300. $20.35. This is going to the bank. And here's a placeholder. So I now have $835 in my personal savings. So these two are gonna change. I wanna do a go back and see what is left after all of this in my overflow. It should be $23. 10, 15, 20, and three. So out of this 23, I will put the $3 in my $1 envelope. And that leaves me with $20. I'm going to take 10 and put it in my home. <laughs> and that will bring that up to an even 100. Let's put another 10 in here. And that brings this to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. technology, which I need to beef up because I have an upcoming expense. Let's change this to 60. And the new total is $85.
20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. My new total is $950 is the total amount deposited this month. This brings the new total to $7,920. And this is the money that goes back to the bank. And before I actually take it back to deposit, I'm gonna do some bill exchanges off camera because I don't know if you noticed, some of my envelopes had lots of tens and I can replace those out with some 20s. And I have a couple of envelopes that have a bunch of 20s that I think I can turn into $100 bills. So I'm gonna take care of those. Then once I do that, the money can go into the bank and start its new job, which is to begin to earn a little bit of interest. Every dollar has a purpose and every dollar has an assignment. These are my sinking funds for the month of March. And thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your support. Hello to all my sinking fund savers and welcome new subscribers. I wish you all prosperous and abundant living. Take care. Mm -hmm.